All right, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to be doing a full grocery haul for like a week or a week and a half's worth of eating. And we have about three and a half weeks until showtime. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm buying to get ready for the stage. We're gonna eat a lot because I go through this stuff. Like, pico is honestly one of those things you make that's good enough to just eat with a spoon. Especially like, again, three and a half weeks out, so our vegetable intakes are much, much higher. So, enjoying things like tomatoes, onions, and other low calorie dense vegetables. These are big bundles, but if we dig to the bottom, we'll find some fresh cilantro. Cross off the onion. Next up, we've got guacamole. This stuff right here is really convenient. It stays fresh for a long time, especially like, again, getting your healthy fats in on prep, whole avocados, that stuff's gonna go brown. So this keeps it nice and green and fresh for up to two weeks. All right, so we're in the meat section now, and I don't normally eat a lot of red meat just because it's generally really high in fat. Um, Woodman's fortunately does have 96.4. However, most of my protein is coming from eggs and chicken breasts at the moment, but we're doing a cheat meal for burgers and we're probably gonna go with 90-10. So we're not going crazy. We're not getting into the 73-27 or the, uh, what was the other kind, 80-20. Uh, we're going with 90-10 on this one. A Little bit of fat for a little bit of flavor, but not too much. Here, again, no peanut butter. Um, we're getting a lot of condiments, flying through condiments at this point in the prep just because I don't get a lot of food, so I gotta make it tasty somehow. Okay, so if I'm gonna go mustard, definitely gonna go honey mustard. You just gotta be careful with this stuff because it's not particularly low calorie. For one teaspoon, it's 10 calories. So again, this is a sweet treat to put on chicken, but you gotta be mindful of how much you're using. And over here, we're gonna go with kosher pickles. $5 bottle of ketchup. I think at this point I'm going through one of these a week. So my monthly ketchup subscription is like costing me 20 bucks, but only one month left to go. That's ridiculous. IHOP cereal. I know that uh, Dunkin' Donuts is a cereal, but I mean, these restaurants coming out with cereal that looks like a uh, cookie crisp a little bit. All right, cereal of choice. It's gonna be Golden Grams is my high day cereal. If you follow me on Instagram, I just released a video recently talking about how to pick a high day cereal. I'll cover it quickly here. Basically, you want to be looking for cereals that have like two grams of fat, ideally, or less per serving. Because again, if you're eating this for a high day, you're gonna be smashing cups and cups of cereal. So you don't want that added fat to add up to 15, 20, 25 grams, especially on a high carb day. You wanna keep fats minimal. And it doesn't have to be adult cereal, guys. Like this is a kid cereal but it's only 1.5 fat a serving. So it fits the box and it's super tasty. Okay, so this is my personal favorite vegetable on prep and that's gonna be cut green beans for multiple reasons. A, super low calorie dense. Also, they come in one convenient serving size can. So, you know, if I'm getting eight to 10 grams of carbs on a low carb day where, you know, I don't wanna to have to like portion out vegetables, I can literally just cut this open and this is one full serving. Um, they're really good to add salt and they kind of have like a, a waxy kind of almost fat-like taste to them. <laughs> Again, as we get in these final weeks, you know, you start to, your brain starts to tell you some crazy things, but yeah, these are my personal go-to, two to three cans a day. All right, so now I've got one of the most iconic bodybuilding foods, Quick Oats. Honestly, not going through too many of these anymore uh, just because carbs are so low. But again, you can add a lot more water and let your oats steep a lot longer or microwave them and they'll kind of foam up to give you a lot more volume for either your breakfast or your pre-workout meals. Great choice. And again, yeah, this will probably last the remainder of prep. All right, so this next item goes out to all the seed oil haters out there. These minute rice cups, because yes, they put sunflower oil in them, but I don't know what else they do to them, nor do I particularly care, but these taste absolutely amazing when it comes to salting them. And this rice just tastes too damn good. chamomile tea here. They've got perfect peach herbal tea. See, the problem is I don't want black tea. I want that nice chamomile tea for at night. 
nice warm satiating drink. I honestly don't have a preferred brand either because I'm not a huge tea drinker. The only time I drink tea is generally on prep. All right, next up, coffee. My favorite brand is always on sale. So we'll go with the pre-ground brown kind, brown label, and then we'll go with a little bit of a medium roast on the red label. Hmm, yeah, that's good. This is my personal personal favorite brand of coffee. It's like 650 when it's on sale for 12 ounces. That's a fairly good price considering it's single origin. It's really high quality. Um, and yeah, I'm drinking like two to three cups of coffee a day because it gives me the caffeine energy, but it's also satiating. As we're getting down to the end here, this is honestly just the best tasting diet soda, the zero sugar versus the diet. This is actually meant to taste like it has sugar. Diet is meant to have its own unique flavor profile. So as we get down to the end, I'm gonna get exactly what I want to make it all the way through. All right, so now for our next dose of artificial sweeteners, we get to choose our crystal light. I've been a huge fan of the peach mango lately. This is honestly one of their better flavors. Probably just go with a strawberry. That's another good flavor. Classic lemonade, something without caffeine if I want to have a sweet treat at night. And honestly, I think that should be enough, but they have a lot of great flavors. Public service announcement for crystal light, by the way, classic orange is a garbage flavor. Buy any other flavor besides this one. This one sucks, it's terrible, so don't buy it. If you're gonna buy that, buy the citrus instead. Or just get the peach mango, it's much better. We don't have any of our favorite flavors, strawberry lemonade, so we'll just grab two Liberty Pop. While they're still on sale, we've been cleaning out these guys like every single day they restock it, because three for four is 133 a can. You can't really beat that in terms of a sweet treat with uh, some caffeine in it. All right, and we're not picking up any today because we have some at home, but if you're looking for like one of the best absolute like sweet tooth crushers, it's gotta be Tillamook ice cream. My personal opinion, it actually destroys Ben and Jerry's. The flavors are much more uh, genuine and like rich, especially I've heard with their fruit flavors, super top notch. Uh, we've only personally tried Mudslide, Utterly Chocolate, and Monster Cookie. I would have to go with Utterly Chocolate being the best because the white chocolate kind of has like a marshmallow to it. So it almost like has a, a s'mores quality, but yeah. If you're looking for uh, to have some ice cream on a cheat meal, you definitely gotta go to the movie. All right, next up on the list is blueberries. Honestly, not eating too much fruit right now, pretty much only on high days, but these are good to put in oatmeal um, or actually adding them to pancakes. So I'm having some high day carbs, those in some pancakes, really good. All right, so now they do actually have the big bags here. Now we're onto our frozen vegetables. And here's the thing, guys, if you are on a contest prep, you gotta be wary of like these pre-season vegetables because they do contain some extra fats. But if you're just on a diet, trying to lose weight, you're not on contest prep, these can be a great convenient option to get your vegetables in. I'm gonna try these oven roasters, which are pre-seasoned oven roast or in the air fryer, both work. And it looks like, you know, a third of a cup only has two and a half grams of extra fat. So totally acceptable and they're pre-seasoned. So there's no excuse to say vegetables taste bad. All right, last on the list, we've got almond milk. Again, we're trying to keep calories from like just added fats as low as possible. So we're going with the unsweetened, it's two and a half grams of fat per cup. I'm putting this on my cereal on my high days. I'm using maybe, you know, four or five ounces. So it's negligible fat, but it adds a little bit of flavor to my cereal as well as putting some extra cinnamon in there too. All right, so we're at the checkout now. Comment down below how much you think this is all gonna be. Remember, we don't have any chicken. I buy that separate. So with what's in the cart, leave your guesses below. My guess was 98, so what is that, $13 off? But again, that's not that's not terrible considering that some of this food is gonna be shared as well as, you know, this is gonna last a week and a half. I know it doesn't include all of the chicken, but again, you can certainly bodybuild on a budget. Yo, this is kind of some, some bad weather. And that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you did in fact enjoy that grocery haul. And now keep in mind guys, that's not a 100% conclusive list of everything I'm consuming on a weekly and monthly basis. Of course, I did not picture buying most of my protein in terms of we buy eggs at a different store and I buy chicken at a different store, but that stuff usually comes out to about 
40 or 50 dollars a week for all the chicken and for all the eggs so you know i'm probably looking at anywhere around 100 to 150 dollars a week for all of my grocery shopping needs which again you know isn't too much more than other people are spending especially when you factor in going out to eat so try not to use the budgeting thing as an excuse for why you can't get big or why you can't eat healthy there's plenty of examples on my channel and many other channels of people who are able to do it so Take some of that knowledge and use it in your own routine. But that is going to wrap everything up for today. Tune in for next week's video where I'm gonna do a vlog. I'm gonna take you through like basically an entire week of what things are looking like here at the end. The week after that, it'll be peak week. And then we are going to have the show day video. So we are coming up real close here, guys. But it seems like people have been enjoying it. So if you have, like, share, comment, subscribe all down below. Uh, coaching links and everything else are also down there if you're interested in that kind of stuff. But until next time, I'll catch y'all then.